Welcome back to another One Punch Man 2 review. Today is episode 4. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Couch Talk. As always, we're anime viewers only, no source material, and we're going to discuss the episode and give our scores at the end. You okay there? I'm ready. It is allergy season, and I'm suffering. But I'm Good. ready to talk about it. I'm sure everyone's happy with you suffering because you suck. Anyway, <laughs> that's not we, nice. get to, we, we get some of Garo's childhood here. Where he's basically always been a monster sympathizer. Um, yeah, which is uh, kind of... There isn't really like a... He just kind of... Yeah, he just kind of... He's like, well, monsters have feelings too, and they're cool. Which is kind of yeah. a, <laughs> a weird thing to base, you know... Turning super villainy for, but sure, whatever, we'll go. With yeah, it. like unless there's something else there, it's not a very good. Right, he's I mean, like. I guess he could just be born like you know, straight up a you know, a psychopath or whatever. Uh, it is a thing. So. Yeah, he just <laughs> monsters have ambitions too, and that was pretty much his whole reason. Yeah. Not the best motivation, in my opinion, but we'll ro- we'll roll with it for now. Yeah, for now, for now, <laughs> it's not a yeah. Not the best. Um, but yeah, off to the side, we have the association kind of making preparation because apparently some of them have been starting to get targeted. They think it's Garo. And, but it's, as we learn, it's not. Right. But we, they basically have to get bodyguards. And this, most of this episode really just follows <laughs> Metal Bat, the 15th S rank, guarding a couple, you know, rich snobs. Right, so this, I guess this season is going to be more perspective of a bunch of other heroes instead of Saitama, I mean obviously Saitama was in this for a bit, but it seems it's not from his perspective anymore, like season one was, it's kind of just, because I mean, the main character of this particular episode was definitely Metal Bat, he, you know. Even next episode looks like he's still going to be part of it, so it's kind of interesting which way they're going with it. At least they fixed the animation problem, pretty much, for the most part, I would say. <clears throat> like, it's satisfactory. Some, see, I kind of came opposite through this episode. I felt like some of it was still bothering me somewhat, I guess. <laughs> it's like, during the flurry of blows and stuff, where it just doesn't feel as animated as it should be, um... Especially when they're attacking like super fast, and it was like them just getting whacked, and it was like shows them just the flashes or whatever, and it's like a little blood at the end or whatever. But like, it wasn't all there. It is better for sure, I think, though, than at least the first two first episodes. First two episodes, yeah. Yeah, it, I, I still think it has a ways to go, but if they stick on this improvement track, I think they will get there. Uh, at least that's the hope, right? Well, hopefully, the best hope is to get back to season one quality, but I don't think that will happen. Oh, that will never happen. Uh, but yeah, so the king declines to guard people. He's Most, busy. He's busy playing his game. Yeah, he's, he's busy. Like, he's like, I'm on a new a secret boss right now. <laughs> <laughs> totally doing stuff. But yeah, it just leaves it to Metal Bat, and he has to teach these snobs the right way. Some proper etiquettes in these places. <clears throat> they were quite snobby. I did not like them, but whatever. No. That's most... uh, but yeah, so while they are attacked by a group of like centipedes, <laughs> right, basically. Just some bugs. <laughs> some giant bugs. Which he takes out the first few, and then it's Senti Senpai that comes out <laughs> with along with a uh, like what mushroom a name. thing. Do you think <clears throat> Do you think monsters have a, a you know a monster association that gives them their names? <laughs> I maybe <laughs> it's starting to feel like because we do learn this episode they do have some sort of like chain of command and intelligence yeah, like now hierarchy. Yeah, and it's like they've been given orders <clears throat> to look out for these executives, which is completely new. Normally, it was just monsters would attack or whatever, and they would just go after, and then it's like. You know, the higher threat levels were the ones that had, like, intelligence or whatever. Right. But this episode, you know, we have to do with the... First, he deals with a demon level, and then it's like, boom, here's the dragon level. This giant Sentichoro thing. <laughs> a giant centipede thing. 
which it seems like they've known about these guys before in the past that attack and destroyed a city. Because they're right. like, oh, if it attacks, we'll, we will lose a city. And that thing is massive. That's... Hell yeah, it's massive. That thing is disgusting. I am not hey, fighting well, bugs that big. Dragon, okay, it's pretty up there. I ain't, I ain't, there ain't enough bug spray to take that. Like, holy, if I saw that big, we quit. Even the smaller, smaller ones, I'd be like, no way. Hell no, I ain't fighting no bug. I'm gonna True. go to some other city. <laughs> but of course, Metal Bat, struggling with it a bit, because it is massive. And of course, he just has a Metal Bat. He's kind of lame. <laughs> Compared to some of these other like heroes and as I mean, and the, stuff, I do like his character though. I do like his. He's just <laughs> his ability, I guess, is being good with a bat. <laughs> he's basically your regular like. He's like a punk that you would Yeah, get I was just about to say that. This like, like a, <laughs> the anime thug punk guy. Yeah, just, just, <laughs> like the school punks that are like hanging around or the gang members and stuff. That's exactly what he is. Right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he gets launched and lands next to Garo at the end, which Garo was going <laughs> to go help the monsters, it seems like, because he's still weird as a character right now. He's like, he's, he's with weird. that kid, he's like, having to, like, I don't know, like, I wonder if like something... building a relationship with the kid. And it's like... I know, I was say, I wonder if something will happen to that kid that will, like, spark some sort of change in him or something like that. Because I feel like him and the kid are going to keep, re- like, connecting through, you know, their bench meetings. So, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Garo's weird. <laughs> I'm just, he's, he's just, just... And now he wants to fight Metal Bat as though there's a monster. Going, Metal Bat's like, dude, come on. I got this to deal with. Like, let's deal with our shit some other time. But, nope. Garo has to fight there. And, of course, while Saitama's at the martial arts tournament, which seems like is going to be the focus of the next episode... More so right. than the threat, because at least from the preview, it seemed that way. The <coughs> yeah. Half second of the preview I saw, because it did have Marshall tournament in like the title <laughs> of the episode for the next week. But like, he was the one that caused an incident at the tournament before, before getting, you know, I got, or, or after getting ejected from the dojo after beating up everyone at the dojo because he got bored. It's, Gar- I don't know how it, to. It's like he built up his own strength through the human ways, and then all of a sudden, it like triggered that he's like, you know what, I need to go help the monsters now. And it's like it doesn't seem like there's a reasoning it's, why. Yeah, it's because when he was a kid, he obviously sympathized for monsters, but like the whole time when he was in the dojo, is that was that like his plan? Oh, I'm gonna get strong so I can be. I don't know. He he's so he's a weird character right now. I don't know how to place my finger on him, really. Yeah, it's like, is his goal to get accepted by the monsters? Because the monsters, I feel like, aren't going to accept a human, even if they fight for them. But I, right. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't know either. It's. I'm assuming this whole season is what that's going to be about. So, I don't know. It's very strange right now. I will say that. And, uh, you know, Saitama's breaking a whole bunch of rules. To fight in the tournament. Eh. Oh, <laughs> As well, expected. Uh, Moomin Rider's like, oh, he would never do that. <laughs> like, man, he's like, he's a hero. And he would win because he's a hero. But if he wouldn't break the rules. It's like, nah. Saitama's never been one to care about too much. Like, <laughs> right. yeah. At first when he was told by that guy, he was like, oh. <laughs> it was like, whatever. He just goes <laughs> with the flow. Let's be honest. Uh, I do like how he talks down on that guy. He's like, you shouldn't talk down on someone or whatever. He's like, you're the one that ran away. <laughs> it's like, Toronto fought him. But he's try- He's supposed to be Toronto. <laughs> he all said it in the third person. <laughs> right. like, this could be weird. And like, the guy- but the guy is kind of a dunce. So. Any bets on who's going to win the fighting tournament? Well, if Saitama <laughs> sticks through it, it'll be him. <laughs> but I have a feeling it's going to get interrupted. Yeah, by C- probably uh, Stinty Choro or Choro or whatever. Yeah, or Garo. I could see that. True. Metal bat comes flying through. Or <laughs> right, gets thrown through the building. But I mean, that's what that's pretty much the episode. It was pretty yeah, much it, a lot of. It's one punch man. It's a lot of combat. It's, it's what it right. Is. It was Action. metal bat pretty much fighting, and then like Saitama's little part 
before the tournament. And yeah, so, like, oh yeah, we gotta keep him in the show. So, yeah. <laughs> he is our main character, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> but, uh, jumping the score with him? Sure, sure. I will say... I will say 7-ish. I mean, I, I enjoyed the action still. It is a different approach, like following different heroes. It It's... Yeah, it's different. That's really... I don't know how I like it right now. We'll see. But, I mean... Garo's backstory... Or not backstory, but more info about him. It's it's good to know. The whole motivation stuff is still a bit wonky to me. Kind of like how he... I mean... I know kids are impressionable, but he kind of just took it <laughs> to the extreme when he grew up, too. So... I don't know yet. It, it. I feel like there's more to flesh out. I. I hope. I want to say there is. Who knows? I have no idea. So. I. I mean. I still enjoyed the action and stuff because you know, it was pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um. I'll go to six and a half. But yeah, I agree. Uh. It's just right now. It's like I do find some of the story stuff very interesting, especially with the monsters and how we're starting to get them. Where, like, it seems they have a plan now. Uh. And maybe it's more than just the centipede group. Uh, just the centipede group, then it doesn't seem as cool. But <laughs> but if they build that out, kind of shows going. On, yeah, right now it's just I need more of Garo's ambition to really say for sure with what's going on in him. Because uh, if that is just it, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, if it's just oh, I like monsters. <laughs> you know, I like that. Normally, there's some kind of huge impact that happens in someone's life for that to be that way. Right. I don't know what that impact would be to flip, though. Normally, like someone would become a hero because their parents or something were murdered by a monster, right? But I can't see the flip scenario where like somebody kills a monster and you're like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you, right? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, the action is getting better. So that's good. But yeah, that does it. That means it's spiel time! Right. <laughs> if you don't want me to get caught breaking the rules be sure to hit our subscribe button like hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload comment down below let us know what you thought about the episode we did didn't like anything like that uh no spoilers this is we are anime viewers only and until next time peace out see ya